now. Game one. Oh, I did remember correctly. One more circuit. Was it really one point, Squire? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good luck, have fun from Bug Doctor. I hope they have fun. I really do. It's fun to watch. My secret is that I've never said have fun before an online set. I wish people good luck, but I'm not going to make any false promises about them playing me. Gary had 41 to your 40. Gosh. That's got to hurt a little bit, but... Anyway. We're here in game one. Lots of what you would expect from this set, you know. Bug Dark, ooh, almost getting caught under Town and City. But Benjels, with that back air reading the jump, takes first stock. Down throw Flashmaster. That was, I thought that was it. I really did. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This is a bit tough for Bug Doctor. Being down, you know, he got killed quite early um, with a really well placed bear. Gets an F smash. Thankfully, if he gets an edge guard here, this could be it. But no. The short sides on town do mean that if he lands a back air, for instance, or an F smash, oh, the weak hit of up tilt won't take it. There's another F smash, so. Evens up the stocks. Doesn't quite get the uh, crash bomber on him coming off the platform. But Benjels uh, has had some well-placed PK fires throughout this to help him with neutral here. Otherwise, he needs to you know, come in with his fares. And that's pretty tough. You know, He's used to fade back fares, which aren't really going to work against Mega Man in the way that he likes. They still do, but... Good punish with the back air. Absorbs Crash Bomber. I do like it. Ooh. Lost his jump at the Town City platform. Doesn't make a difference, though. Another back air coming in from Mega Man. Arsback, I wanted to ask, do you know what, uh, what the deal with the renders is? The Player 1 render seems to be up in the top left corner. I'm not sure why. Anyway, Bug Doctor with a bit of a lead. This is, frankly, just one back air away, though, from evening up the stocks. Or a PK fire. Parries the Metal Blade. Ooh. Manages to neutral get up. I don't think he has his jump. Oh, I like the down smash to cover the roll. But he does manage to make it back safely on stage. Yeah, you can't throw Metal Blade unless you know what you're doing. Um, it's never going to work if Mega Man's throwing pellets, because even a single pellet will break Metal Blade. Oh, we have a guest joining me on commentary. Say hello to the cat, Gino. That back throw doesn't quite take it. <laughs> Ooh, barely. He really knows the space on his air dodges. All right, he's got one last chance at this, but forward air just calling out the jump. Game one to Bug Doctor. Despite a strong start from Benjels, you know, it's not like he wasn't doing, doing well at all. He just doesn't quite get the hits he needs. It's tough getting through Mega Man's wall. And yeah, this, I do see this set as a bit of a rivalry, you know, between these two players. They're both excellent. They're both top tier in Regina. I'm better than both of them. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what their set count is like, but I know that it has been back and forth. Okay, I'm going to need to move this cat. Oh, I love you, buddy, but... We're starting game two. Oh, Gino. Three, two, one, oh, interesting.
Well, this is a. Uh... Oh, the players have swapped them. This is definitely a better start for Bug Doctor than the last game, which is pretty spooky considering uh, <laughs> he won <laughs> despite a bad start. The Lilac pick may not have been the play, but, you know, I know what he's going for. Oh, oh there's our first stutters of the day. I'm sure we'll see many more of those, my friends. Ooh, I thought that was going to be it with that risky fare, but... F-Tilt? Oh, you know, he's pulling something together. Managing to avoid most of the hits from Bug Doctor here. Now you can see Lilat uh, coming into play. It's quite good, but the Crash Bomber made the down smash very risky. Ooh, I don't know if he meant to dash attack there. I wonder if uh, he was hoping to run up smash or something. The back air does get it from center stage, but much higher percent than uh, I'm sure he was hoping for. Gets the shield break! Nice! Yeah, clean F-Smash, doesn't need anything else. Well done. You know, evening up the stocks. Very little deficit now. It feels really bad having Ness just holding a smash attack on your shield. Oh, great. I know that I'm dead. I just have to wait for it to happen. <laughs> I wonder if you can do some, like, wacky shield SDI, but... Tough to believe. Despite that, though, Bug Doctor is making up, making up for that loss. Hardly been hit since he had his shield broken. Oh, but ooh, yeah, very risky PK Thunder too. He really went for it all. It would have killed if he got it, but huge risk when he doesn't. Wow. Incredible recovery dodging that yo-yo, you know, that's really tough. Oh, you gotta parry the last hit, I see. And it looks like there was no attempt at a parry from Bug Doctor there, he was much too late. Is the back they're gonna do it? Not quite. Oh, that will, yeah. He spaced around the back air, and once he used his double jump, that was it. So, even stocks game two. Is Benjil's going to manage to win on his counter pick, or will Bug Doctor go up 2-0? This could go either way. This game's been really back and forth. Ooh. I think that's it. Oh, he thought so too, but Benjil's knew better. Manages to make it back with literally no <laughs> attempt at a at dissuading him from Bug Doctor, thinking he must have been dead. Oh, and if he turns this around from it, Bug Doctor is going to be kicking himself. Does manage to roll past the yo-yo. It's the PK Thunder, and now with a little bit of a lead, oh, tries to get a setup into PK Thunder 2. So now this is quite scary. Hits the back air. Another bad double jump, and that would be it, but manages to make his way through. That'll be it. Game. Yeah, even with impeccable DI, PK Thunder, or er, PK Fire into <laughs> multiple pummels into back throw, that does clean out game two for Benjils. So, here we are, 1-1. We've got a lot of back and forth sets this this tournament so far. I'm liking this pool. We'll see where Bug Doctor goes, but 
Yeah, uh, first dog lead does not mean anything so far. It's, in fact, it's gone back both times. Um, that was quite the comeback from Benjels there in the last stock of that game. I'm really impressed. Um, huge mistake from Bug Doctor letting him get back for free. I thought he was dead too. I know how that happens, but oh, doing nothing and then losing for it, man, that's gotta hurt. That's really gotta hurt. You know, he could have gone out there, gone deep, but in any case. He won't be making that mistake this time in game three, I'm sure. <laughs> that is, if the opportunity presents itself. Benjels took his chance and ran with it, and he's going to do the same this whole set, I'm sure. Lots of PK fire, I'm having... Flashbacks to Broloom in Smash 4. Not quite as many, though. <laughs> oh, I don't know anything that's going on on the other the other pool, Squire. What's the score for that set? Nadia versus Scrump? You know, I, I would be talking about how Bug Doctor s scored a massive lead here, but I don't even believe that it means anything. <laughs> okay, so Nadia does have the lead against Scrump, which is... That may technically be an upset in terms of seeding. Nadia's had a bit of a inconsistent run throughout this circuit, but... I, I do think him the better player. Oh, just an F-Smash to take it. So, only 35% on Bug Doctor. Hopefully for him, this is the one that means big. Oh, does manage to roll out. That was smart. He recognized that he'd been hit by the PK Fire a few times before the, the smash attack. And that meant he was able to roll and cancel the shield stun. Benjels, though. Ooh! The stage spike! That'll be it, yeah! <laughs> I don't think anyone uh, expected the stage spike. You know, Benoit likely isn't surprised by it, but I'm sure that's not his intention. If it was, he spaced it phenomenally to get the one thing that would guarantee a kill. Ooh, no jab lock. It's too bad. Another stage spike! Even with what was an impeccable angle, doesn't doesn't make it back. So full stock lead, with Bug Doctor, kind of in the driver's seat. <laughs> okay, lots of these flame swords. This ledge pressure is really tough. You know, he reads the jumps with the metal blade. <coughs> you don't want to just hold shield. Woo! Woo! Spooky. Correctly chooses to just get up attack through. Ooh. Miss spaces is fair. That's, you know, that's a big thing against Benjels. If you're able to outspace his forward airs. It's so tough for him to make neutral work. Reads the jump. Doesn't quite take it. Oh, I thought that would be it, but he doesn't go for a forward air. Is the back throw going to do it? No. Nowhere close. But he's got him in a tough spot. Bit of a tight squeeze over here in the corner. Nearly hits the Metal Blade confirm. Safely rolls on. Okay. Won't be able to get a kill from that leaf shield. Just racking up the damage, but without getting that hit. And there it is. The hit he was looking for. So, game three does go to Bug Doctor. We're back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. 
and anything in between. <clears throat> so, I noticed that uh, Benjels had had much better luck on shorter stages. The two games he lost were on Town and on Pokemon Stadium, which are the two longest stages. That's not super surprising, knowing how good Mega Man can be on stages like that. And so I'm expecting perhaps a Smashville pick or, you know, even a, a Battlefield or a Yoshi's. <clears throat> Whatever, you know, Bug doesn't ban. Could be something else entirely, but that's that's what I'm noting from how this set's been going in any case. <clears throat> Three, two, yeah, Smashville, as I suspected. Go! I think that's a very... A uh, very reasonable pick. I understand the thought going into it. And I think it'll work out for him. You know, he's already won on Lilat, which is another similarly short, similarly short stage. Uh, technically, it's full length, but with the slants, it's effectively much shorter. Interesting PK Thunder 2 there. I wonder if maybe he was trying to angle down and get back to the ground like that and just missed the angle. The up air to get back safely. <clears throat> oh, but the down air hard knuckle takes him out. Even still, Benoit or er, Benjels is fighting. Doing a pretty good job of, you know, keeping up the fight even despite the deficit. Hit with the leaf shield though. No edge guard, he's able to weave around that. Sitting at 109, you know. Oh, I take that back. Absorbs the F smash. Uh, that's actually a big deal, because now he's not really in kill percent at all. And Bug Doctor off stage. Whiffs the back air, but does manage to get back regardless. Back air across the stage. Not enough to take it off the bat, but yeah. Unable to uh, get through that down smash. Thinks he may need to tech, perhaps, but buffers an air dodge and dies. Ooh, reads the jump out of the corner. Classic. Classic read. Name one player who's never full hopped out of the corner. I'll wait. <laughs> Interesting that Vengels likes to shield Crash Bombers instead of trying to Psy Magnets them. Maybe a little bit scared, or maybe know something I don't know about the vulnerability. I guess, you know, with Mega Man right there, pulling out Psy Magnet's a recipe to, I don't know, getting grabbed or forward aired. These jump reads with Metal Blade are so crucial to fighting Ness. You know, Benoit. He just loves jumping in, because that's what Ness does best, especially with his fade-back fares, the way that he uses them. And Bug knows this. He's just going to throw that Metal Blade diagonal up all day, like, all day, every day. And the reward's so, so huge. He's gotten back airs off of it. He's threatened so much. That's how he got that F-Smash. He threatened with the Metal Blade. He didn't want to jump. This is really, really tough. Ah, uh, bad DI in the back air, and that's the set. Bug Doctor 3 1 over Benjels. Good set, though. Did a good job of.